Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We need more power, and then we'll have our halberd beam. And then we'll have alternative wind stuff if we can't happen to go over there because they don't have enough health to do things. Would like more crew. Would also like a store. So we're going to jump here first. Because it's more likely we'll see a store from here. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. And we attack it. Because we got to get the stuff. Oh wow, they don't even have shields. Ah, oh, this is just mean. And it's the one that's convenient for boarding, you don't say. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna teleport over here and break your weapons real quick. They can take our shields down every time, but, uh... Can't really do a whole lot else. And now they can't even do that. Can you just shoot here? Okay, so you guys can break this, and then... Actually, nope, there's no reason to. This will just shoot again. You guys can get off of there, and we'll shoot right where you left. Really? I... okay. That's fine. This thing only takes eight seconds to fire. That's faster than almost every laser we get. You sell what you can from the broken ship. Forty. And we got an ion blast. EA 1.1 power weapons. Distress. But before we go to that distress... Really? We're one short? Okay, that's fine. Distress? Oh, you know what? We can use the Ion Blast now, too. If we need to. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Giant spiders, nope. Okay, bye. That's not a risk anyone can take. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with Federation sympathizers. Mind control. Alter the announcer's opinions. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Probably because we almost never take mind control. You locate the source of the announcement and convince the speaker to rescind his previous statement. Hopefully you will have enough time to shop before he can figure out what just happened. Perfect. Beams. Uh, Long-range scanners are like always a nice pickup. That's kind of neat. I'm never getting that again. I think cloaking should maybe, I don't know, it's, it's going to be between cloaking and drone control. We have a flak, so I don't need another way to knock down shields. We even have an ion blast. And, uh, what do we have to sell? See, we've already got good stuff here, though. Though I think I would rather have a beam, too, than that. I want to, oh, wait, emergency respirators? Crews take half damage from low oxygen. I guess we can hold on to that. I'll just sell the combat drone instead, because if I'm going to have a drone system, I'm probably going to want... Oh, you know what? This probably only has a tube-thing drone system. So we wouldn't even have as much variety, so I would much rather get rid of this. Because if we do get one, it's probably going to be a defense too, and this, in case we don't need the defense. So now I have enough to get the long-range scanners, which should keep us out of pulsars and stuff. Well, I'll pick up the fuel because it's... I don't know. It's cheap. Repair what we can, just in case. We got stuff out of this. It's not like we were getting any use out of that combat drone anyway. After a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. Ooh, I thought you were going to ask for fuel, but you were giving me fuel. I like that. You arrive near a small fleet of civilian Angie ships. A simple decryption and translation of their comm frequency tells you that they are having a frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. Your crew member syncs with the comm unit to communicate with them directly. You offer your help and a summary of the ship's mission. They respond. Our goals have analogous elements. However, not, avail not all available for disclosure. Discretion necessary. Secret technology stolen by Mantis. Implicit connection to rebels. Implicit. However, tracked second ship to different base. Would calculate probability, but data insufficient. Cannot risk obvious rebel Engi conflict. Also need time to acquire military ships. Assist in finding technology. Okay, our new goal in life is just to get to all of these quest things and then make it back to the exit. I don't know that we can make all of those. We might only be able to go to one. You receive a distress call from a nearby Engi ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. 
We move into assist. We receive another message from the ship. This time with a mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving in to attack and boarders teleport from the station. A mantis? What do you mean meat sacks? Mantises are what? Okay. So we upgraded our doors, which is nice. And uh, oh, you know what? No, I don't even need to. There's gonna be no oxygen over there. Maybe we shouldn't go make no oxygen over there either. I don't know about that, honestly. <laughs> like, I know that they can drain the oxygen out of the room, but... Oh, you know what? No, we have mind control. Yeah, let's go wreck them. Wait, did I... Oh, right, I told you guys to go up there for some reason. I'm gonna send you over here. And then I'm gonna mind control that mantis. They'll stay here and suffocate. And I'm gonna shoot this flak over... that way. Because I can. Yeah, you take that one damage. Run to fix it. You guys shouldn't actually be able to f destroy anything. Okay, yeah, I thought he was attacking the sensors still. There, you want to run all the way down there. Oh, they don't have a way of teleporting back. Ooh. You guys broke that, so now come over here. No, no, wait. They're coming back. When... They actually have a door system. I can't believe I didn't notice that. Uh, advance flak in there, please. That should kill him. Yep. And now this mantis, because the room isn't completely devoid of oxygen, is never mind actually ignoring it. You know what? It doesn't matter. You guys just come back. We did it. We won! Yay! Wow, it shot twice? You only delay the inevitable. You know what? You're not even fixing that. Go break something. Fantastic. The ship explodes. You get lots of scrap. And with this scrap, you now have a halberd beam as well. Did I buy extra power? Oh, wait. There's power out of the, the mind control. Okay. No, wait. This is locked in with the power. Did I really have enough power last time? I guess I did. Okay, whatever. We're going to quests. Shortly after you arrive, the ship you're escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for the help and offer you a reward. You are pleased by this reward. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the exit for one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump there, we're going to jump there, we're going to get out. No, wait, that's three jumps. Ah, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do either. We jump right here, this will get engulfed. We jump... We might be able to squeeze three, but this is going to be close. Oh, this is going to be close. Yankee can do remarkable things, for they are Yankee. Mmm, don't really need fuel, don't really need to repair. And I can't really afford anything else. Oh, I think we can make it! Oh, I think we can make it! Please let this be the one! You arrive at one of the rebel bases that the Yankee told you about. It appears abandoned... Oh, it appears abandoned, except for one scout ship. Perhaps you could extract information from them. As soon as they see you, they power up. But you mind control their pilot. And then, because there's only two of them over there, we can teleport over there and cause some problems. I want to send them to a smaller room. Actually, smaller room would probably be better than the engines, because I want this to take all the oxygen out of the room first, and I think it would take twice as long in a big room. So I'm going to send you guys over here. That guy's mind controlled, so you guys are going to come in here, fight, and I'll shoot an advanced flak and a halberd beam afterwards. Okay, they don't have a door system, so I'm going to have you leave. No! They've outsmarted me. Alright, but now they won't come in here because no oxygen, right? Well, it'll get them all low health, whatever. I'm gonna shoot an advanced flak up here. And then kill this guy. Demand the stolen technology. Of course, that's why you're here. Yes, they passed by here, but I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what they were carrying. I'll transmit the coordinates. Now just let us go. You prepare an FTL message containing the coordinates to send to the Engi and get ready to jump. Heh, heh. They're lucky. Because if not sparing them was an option, I might have done that. 
Wait, there's another quest here now? Is this the one? Oh no. I need to upgrade our engines. Ooh, I think we're gonna have to risk any ship batteries. There was only two quests. They transmitted this new one. I thought the thing was in the next sector. You finally caught up with the ships you've been hunting. A hangar-sized cargo ship is being escorted by a number of Mantis ships. As you reconsider the assault, a squadron of Engie ships with pirate emblems jump in and assist you. You prepare to fight the Mantis, but scans indicate they are manned by rebels. They have a med bay, which means it would be dangerous for us to go over there and do anything. Oh, if you're gonna go into there? I was gonna mind control you or something, but if you're just gonna make it that easy... Why don't I just start draining this side, too? Do you have a teleporter? Oh, you do, so you'll probably get that person back. Let me just drain the oxygen out of here real quick, and then close it. I'm gonna get hit by a missile. My sensors... It doesn't make a bit of... Oh, there's a fire in there, too? Okay, we're not gonna be able to see anything. That's okay. Because he has to choose between suffocation and fire. We're gonna shoot this at your weapons. And then I'm gonna shoot like... Hmm. I think I usually do that like that. Engines. I guess we could shoot this. I'm gonna hit four. Wait, can I hit five from here? If I did this. If this hits that first room, that's 10 damage. That was 10 damage! I didn't even notice that. The Ingi emerge victorious from their battles with only minor losses. They send you a message. Project XME-56 commissioned by Federation Military Research Division. Advanced Stealth Cruiser. Project finished during Rebellion. Unable to reconnect with Federation Military Command. Ask about the Mantis ships. Likely ploy by rebels to avoid breaking non-aggression pact with Engi. 97.56% likely. Your mission to assist last Federation fleet, correct? Coordinates? Transmit coordinates. Satisfactory. Delivery of tech will assist in Federation cause. Gratitude alone insufficient. Commencing ship repair and, com and compensation. Their crews deliver an advanced augmentation for installation, but you're more pleased to hear that the Federation will have an improved arsenal. Nah, I kind of just did it for the augment. I didn't remember what augment it was. That's still useful. 43. If nothing else, it'll solve. Because of this, though, we are going to have to go through... ...anti-ship batteries. But we're at full health. And... it wasn't enough. Dang it, I wanted to get another point into the engines. You know what? I'll take this out of boarding, because we're not going to board them. I'm going to put that in there. We'll close... We'll close this. And then, you know what, the Engie would probably fix it faster. We'll fix that. We've got four points in the engine. That's not bad. We would only normally have one more, which means we won't be sitting there for too long. May maybe get hit by the anti-ship battery, like, twice. But if we could get out of there sooner, that would be preferable. You found the exit beacon. But the Rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. They don't have an anti-ship battery. Wow, this just got a lot better for us. I'm gonna mind control him. You guys waste your time. They're not manning any stations now. Missiles don't hit my weapons. Missiles don't hit my weapons. Wow, they didn't hit us at all. Thank you, Evasion. I really need more crew members. I'm sending these people over to board too much, so we're not having really any systems manned other than Frederick's over here. And our evasion was terrible up until now. Knock it out, yes! Med bay, or... I'll, I'll shoot this side. Wow, has this always been this long? Okay. No healing for you. Weapons, they're... Oh, that's offline, but they still got the missiles. Dang. They gotta go around. We're gonna keep shooting here. We resisted the damage due to the titanium casing. Wow, I can't believe we got immediate use out of that. Oh, Man, that sucks! 
And they got the double shields back up. You know what? We can get out of here. We wouldn't get anything for killing them anyway. I got too greedy. I was like, we could totally wreck these guys, but there wasn't really a reason for us to. In the end, though, we jumped into their territory and only took two points of damage. Not bad. Definitely could have gone worse. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Convince him to make a better deal. Once convinced, he lowers the price and describes the weapon. However, he eventually comes to his senses and confusedly takes back his discount. He is clearly unsure why he offered it in the first place. Eh, I don't need that anyway. I should have just attacked him. Nearby sun, no. If we're jumping into a danger zone, it's because it's asteroids, and that just gives me an easier way to get through their stuff. Our flax fixed, so I'm going to pause. The only other ship of this beacon messages you. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. Wow, that's sad. You guys waited here for months just to die? A human and an Engi. It must have been lonely. Uh, I'm gonna mind control you. You know, I could probably just kill them. There's only two of them. And we have mind control. I'm gonna beam them first. We're just going to shoot over here. Oh no, they got our doors. I'm gonna hit here, and then I'm gonna beam down. They offer you some of their cargo. No. You guys, uh, you get over there and you finish what we started. We're going to get the higher rewards. Take that out, put that in there, and you're gonna teleport into there. And because they don't have a med bay, they're just going to stay here and die. No more life signs. You strip it of useful materials. 44. And we fixed the doors! Probably should have done that a little sooner. 65, though. We could get our engines completely good. One more point into this, we could also have the Ion Blast, but we're not, we don't have a terrible lot of use for that. Unless the advanced flak. I mean, I guess once they get the quad shields, this could only take down three. But still. In the immediate future, there's no need for that. Our engines are... Right, this is 30, not 25. Capable of reaching where they need to be. We need 35 more. And we'll be pretty good. This beacon has been built for a nearby civilian space station. No one hails your ship. Wait a minute, this is Sector 4. This is around the time we should be getting triple shields. Hmm, we're actually a bit behind on scrap then. What did I spend it on? I don't even remember. Oh, it's probably because I upgraded all of our secondary systems instead of upgrading the shields. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting requests for a mercenary ship to aid him. Of course we respond. Great, I was worried no one would respond, but I did. We gotta deliver drone parts. We deliver the drone parts. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You are supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. You find the station, and they respond to your hails immediately, saying, It took you long enough, we have practically no use for these now. I refuse to pay full price. Take this and leave the cargo in our holds. Convince him that he is being unfair. I'm being unfair! You did the job, and the parts are here safe and sound. Here's the agreed upon amount. Accept the new offer. You know, I like this system. It makes bad people good people. Instead of buying the power for this, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the triple shields first. I don't see an immediate need for going to that store. However, maybe I should. Just so that we can jump around to more places. I did this pretty inefficiently. I should have gone around the edge and then come back around here, because we're already near the exit, but even if I jump like over here. Oh, that doesn't come back down. And that doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's a bad idea going that way. I think we're gonna go to the pulsar and then just see how many we can get over here and then come back to the store then. I really didn't want to go to the Pulsar, but we're losing scrap otherwise. A small rebel research station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can reach a rebel ship, before before you can reach, before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves into attack. Uh, how's your guys' health? Not too bad actually. How about you guys go over there and pay them a visit? I see they also like flak. Ion Pulse imminent. So we 
teleport into there so that they can't dodge. Now that that's down, I'm going to flack your weapons, and then I'm going to halberd beam your weapons. No. I don't feel like it. They're going to leave, and then that other person's going to leave. And they're going to try and fix stuff. They're not going to be able to fix stuff. No. See, your weapons are completely disabled, so I can just focus all of my attention over here. You're gonna kill him! He's gonna die! Run! You did- no! He's- he's- alright, we're gonna run around in a circle. Let's just deprive- wait a minute, we broke the oxygen! He's gonna suffocate! All according to plan. There are no more life signs remaining on this ship. You just had to run around in a circle for a while. I'm gonna grab you back. And then we're going to get out of here before that goes off, because any otherwise, we're going to lose our shields for 10,000 years. Very near to a sun. Very near to a sun. Hmm, so many choices. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. And they have no shields. Such kindness. Uh, I'm going to shoot those four. Well, that's eight damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the halberd beam by itself, even if all of the shots from the flak mist, would still kill this thing. How about you guys just go back to your stations then? Maybe it'll charge a little faster. Beam. And I believe this charges faster once the enemies are dead. 59, or 49. Can we get out in time? Can we get out in time? We didn't even have all our points in that. Sweet. That's gonna be... Mm. Nope, okay, well that was all we got out of that then. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you, and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Explosive replicator is nice. We're not using missiles. I don't need those or that. I would really like a reconstructive teleport. I would enjoy that. Firebomb. Hmm. Would be better if we were using... If only there was a suffocation bomb. Would be better if we were using, uh... What's it called? I don't... I don't my, my brain just turned off. There's a flak too! Look, it's a flak too. Oh my god, the charge time was 21 seconds. I thought it was 17. Using this flak, though, we would definitely get down any amount of shields. But we already have an advanced flak, and it's a specialized one that only costs one power. Maybe we just, like, triple up on the flax? Just shoot all kinds of flak? This is like the scrap ship. These guys just go around and dismantle debris and stuff. Hmm. We need more crew members, though. We desperately need more crew members. Look, this guy's already a gold pilot. Frederick, how good are you at being a pilot? You're, you're just green. Maybe it would be better to... You know what? No, I'm buying people. You know what? I'll buy them all. I don't care. We'll upgrade the, the the shields in the next sector. I've gone far too long without buying more crew members. At this rate, we're not even going to be able to like get them to gold in time. Or actually, I guess I could just do that pause thing once we're like impervious to a ship. Okay, so Liam, you are a gold pilot. I Yeah, I guess you can go here. Everybody out of there, let's just come into this room and see what we can do. Frederick, uh, Liam is already a gold pilot, so Liam can go in here. Yaz isn't good at anything, but he will learn faster, so he'll go into weapons. Remo will go into the engines, because Remo already has skill with the engines. And then Frederick will go to shields. Save current crew positions. We have the four primary stations manned now, and we can have these guys teleport over without causing too many problems for anyone else. I like that. Can I... It's gonna cost us extra fuel. Maybe we should just get out of here. My next priority is the triple shields. You happen upon what remains of the space station. It has been mostly picked clean, but there appears to be a few materials that will aid in your mission. See, with that too, we've already got more than half of what we need.
Um, let's go to our mind control. Mind control doesn't work on uh, slugs. Yeah, let's go to the mantis. You've entered a poorly chartered area of space that's known to be home to the mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch, and then you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Yep. So, I guess next time we're going to get those triple shields. And then the two extra power we need for this. And then we'll have defenses that are good enough until the last sector where, we'll get, where we will get quad shields. And could probably use to upgrade this once. Everything, we're, we're going to go around and upgrade everything. I just want to get the defenses solid before we get there. Missiles will obviously still be a threat to us because we haven't gotten a way to counteract those yet. But we're in good health. And we'll be able to save the scrap. Like, I, I'm confident that we could at least make it to the last sector. We're just prepping up for the final battle. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.